Good morning, children. Welcome to today's Nash Boom lesson. It's Unit Twenty One, Lesson Five, Log Drops. Objective of the lesson is answer a question by collecting and recording data in list and tables and representing it as block graphs to show the results. Strategies: We use block graph and picture calculation to answer a question in list and tables. Now here, Ali would like to order pizzas for his friends with their favorite toppings. So can you help Ali to understand the picture? Here you can see the pizza toppings: tomato, pepper, onion, pepperoni, bacon, and mushroom. Here, oh, it's a log graph showing the votes for their favorite pizza toppings. We'll make Ali to understand this picture. What is a block graph? Block graph represents each piece of data in the set by an individual block arranged in columns. Here you can see the columns for each item. There is a column individually. In a block graph or block diagram, types of items are shown on the x-axis. That is horizontal here. It is uh, the horizontal line. This tomato, pepper, onion, pepperoni, bacon, and mushroom are on the x-axis. So it is the horizontal line, and the number of items are shown on the y-axis. That is the vertical line. You can see the numbers zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, so on, up to seventy. This is the y-axis. We will say it as vertical line. Okay, and one block represents one item that means you can see the red line it is tomato that is one item so in the same way each block represents each item this is the x-axis and this is y-axis here how many tomato 10 pepper is 25 onion is 40 Pepperoni is 65, bacon is 30, and mushroom is 50. Kitty's flower garden. Here the flowers, rose, jasmine, sunflower, shoe flower are on the x-axis and the numbers 1, 2, 3 up to 8 are on the y-axis. The question is how many rose flowers are there? Yes, it's six. Second question, which flower has the highest number? You see in the block graph, which is the highest line? Yes, it is seven, that is sunflower. So the sunflower has the highest number. Now, the third question, which flower has the least number? Which is having in less number? It is number two, that means shoe flower, yes. Shoe flower has the least number. Now, the last question, how many jasmine flowers are there? Yes, it's three. Now, Imran wants to help his fruit seller father to make an information of his fruits and compare them. Here, we are drawing, going to draw the block graph. On the x-axis, we'll give the items pineapple, kiwi, apple and strawberry and the y-axis will write the numbers from 0 to 9. So pineapples there are 9 so there will be 9 blocks and kiwis are 7, apples are 7 and strawberry is 3. If we look at this block graph we can clearly understand that pineapple is more and it is two more than kiwis and apples and also there are only three strawberries assessment of learning here you can see in the picture the block graph there are toys on the x-axis and the number of toys on the y-axis that means here the here on the x-axis you can see the car toy elephant duck drum so the question is how many toy elephants are there? Is it nine or seven? Yes, it's 
7. Second question, which one is Ali's favorite toy? Which is more in number? Is it drum or elephant? Yes, it's drum. Now, the third question, how many more car toys does Ali have than duck toys? So, we will compare the car toy and the duck toy. Here, the car toy is 5 and the duck toy is 3. So, when comparing, we have to do the subtraction. So, from 5 minus 3, it is 2. Very good. Great job. Summary. We learn to answer the questions in a picture using block graphs. And also we learn to represent data in a block graph. Homework time. Do page number 120 and 121 in Max Workbook. Thank you children and have a nice day.